This is the 15th video in our series looking at how to set up and configure a Google Nest Wi-Fi network. WPA or Wi-Fi Protected Access is a protocol created by the Wi-Fi Alliance. The aim of WPA is to allow wireless devices to securely connect to our Google Nest Wi-Fi network. However, as there are currently three versions of WPA with each new version fixing security flaws that were found in previous versions of the protocol, our Google Nest Wi-Fi router may not have WPA3 enabled by default. The reason for this is that while WPA3 should be fully backward compatible with devices that can only use WPA2, as WPA3 is a relatively new version of the protocol, Older devices may have problems connecting to a wireless network that is using WPA3. So in this video, we're going to see if WPA3 has been enabled on our Google Nest Wi-Fi network, and if it has not, switch it on. If we first open the Google Home app, and then from within the Home panel select Settings, when the Home Settings panel opens, if we locate and select Nest Wi-Fi, we will now need to scroll down through the list of options and find the setting called WPA3. As you can see, our Google Nest Wi-Fi network has WPA3 disabled, so currently our wireless network is using WPA2. The reason for this relates to the compatibility issues that we mentioned earlier. So by default, Google has left our Nest Wi-Fi network using WPA2 so that we have the option to enable WPA3. Let's switch on WPA3. When our wireless network comes back online, we will need to check that all of our wireless devices are still able to connect to our wireless network. If we find that we have a device that is no longer able to connect to our wireless network, we can either try to update or replace that device. However, if neither of these options is feasible, by switching off WPA3, any non-compatible devices should once again be able to connect to our wireless network. So to summarize, as WPA2 is no longer considered to be secure, we recommend that you enable WPA3 on your Google Nest Wi-Fi network. However, as WPA3 may not be fully compatible with every wireless device that you own, after enabling WPA3, you will need to fully test that all of your devices are still able to connect to your wireless network. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at how and why you might want to change the DNS settings being used by your Google Nest Wi-Fi network.